guys, today we are looking at exceptions in C++. Now, I don't want to spend too much time um, looking at the instructions from um, HackerRank, although it's a HackerRank challenge, but I've already solved this. So I just want to show you guys how you can define your own exceptions when you are writing codes or programming in uh, C++. So here we have a piece of code that we cannot modify. It's locked. That's why you can see that the background is a bit reddish. So uh, what we have is a function called check username and we pass it a string and then we're going to check if the, uh, the string is valid. So there are two conditions mainly. If the length of the username, which we capture here and store in the uh, variable n, if the length is less than five, then we want to throw an exception of type bad length exception. And then we want to pass that exception, the length of the string, so that we can catch it in our program like this. Um, whenever we pass a string and then we run through it to check if the string is valid or not, we want to be able to have that catch statement. Notice that catch comes after the try block right here. So we have a catch here and we're going to catch that exception. Um, and we have E, the, the type is also bad length exception. And then we can call E dot what to display that number that we've passed here. You see, when we uh, throw the exception and we have bad length exception, we pass it that number. We want to get that number by calling the method e dot what on the error that we've captured or that we've just caught with the catch block here. So how do you define your own exception? We need to get this defined right here, bad length exception. That is not a built-in C++ exception, so we have to define it. So we can do this by having a normal class, bad length exception. You just have to make sure that the name is the same. Don't forget the semicolon. And then here I'm going to have a uh, private. We're going to have only one member variable, an int variable. I can call it num. You can call it however you want. Then on the public in the constructor right here, I'm going to have again the uh, name of uh, that class, bad length exception. And I'm going to pass it a, an integer because that's how we are calling it, right? We pass it an integer. So I'm going to have int n and I'm going to assign the value of n to our member variable num. So remember in C++, you can um, type it like this, uh, num equals n, or you can also have it uh, like this. I'm going to close this. I'm going to have colon here and then say num n like that. It's, it's the same thing. And then now we need to uh, define that method, what, all right, e dot what. So we need to have a method that's going to return an int, int what, and it's, um, it doesn't take any parameters, but it needs to return num. So this is kind of like a getter if you want. It's just that with exceptions, it's, um, it's common to use the what methods. So it's kind of like a design pattern here. Okay, so now that we, we're done with that, uh, let's try and run this code to make sure that we can uh, throw an exception of bad length exception type and catch it. So I'm gonna run this code. If I did not forget anything, uh, it should pass. So you can see here the, um, uh, it says congratulations is green because we've passed it. I'm not going to submit it to make sure that we pass all the different test cases and we did. So you can see that it's pretty easy to define your own exceptions. You don't have to use the ones that come um, out of the box with C++. So, um, you know, whenever you need one for your program, just create a class and uh, set the what method, and, you know, you, you get the idea how it works. So if this video helped you, please make sure you subscribe, like it, uh, leave your comments, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.